Hi, I'm Liz. I go by Stitch by Liz with an underscore over on Instagram. And welcome to a floss tube extra. Today is Saturday, the 24th of June, 2022. 2022, 2023. Oh my god. Um, it's early. It's like 9:30 in the morning. Um, I have an avalanche about to happen next to me. Um, get yourself a drink, get yourself a snack. This video is gonna be long. Um, because I'm doing my mid-year whip parade. Um, I have notes in front of me, um, so you will likely hear the crinkle from the paper. Um, I have 54 whips. Um, they're precariously perched on a table that you can't see, um, and they are starting to slide. So I'm, I'm on a weird angle because my thighs are actually holding them in place. Um, so they don't fall. So I feel like at some point there's going to be an avalanche. Um, if you do hear my phone making a vibrating sound, um, my sister decided to stack it last night. Um, and she's uh, just gotten an x-ray and she's just waiting for the results. Um, she may have a broken foot or a broken ankle. We don't know. We're just waiting for the doctors to see her um, with the results. Um, there is CCTV video footage of her falling and it is hilarious. Um... Unfortunately, it is triggering my um, trauma response a little bit um, after my fall down the stairs. I suffer from a bit of PTSD and, you know, I'm trying not to let it affect me, but she's doing all right. <laughs> We're just waiting to hear. So um, I'm going to jump in because this is going to be a long video. Um, I'm doing all of these in chronological order. I will show you my... Um, project bags. I did not unzip them because I don't know why I didn't. Um, so I'm just going to go straight into it. The first one is in this Mickey bag. Um, all of the bags are made by me unless otherwise stated. Um, I'm going to show you them and I'm going to chuck them on the floor next to me just so we can get through this. Um, so this is the bag. It has a red interior. Um, and this is Saucer and Mickey. This was started on the 14th of December, 2019. Um, back then I was a monogamous stitcher. Um, I paused it on the, I don't know, sometime in February, 2020. And then I picked it back up again in 2021. It is stitched on an 18 count white two over one full cross. Um, and this is where we're up to. Um, it's great that I'm covering my notes. Um, so at the end of year whip parade, this was at 21,507 stitches at 44.81% complete. Um, and it's currently at 23,563 stitches and 49.09% complete. I absolutely love this. This is um, one of my focus on finished pieces. I'm not even halfway through, but I absolutely love it. Um, I love being able to rotate my whips. Um, I got really bored of this, obviously working on it for two months with all that blue and confetti, um, but I'm glad I'm able to stitch it up, uh, switch it up. Um, so that is, that is my oldest whip um, and my only whip from 2019. Uh, next up, is in this Star Wars bag. Um, it is a welcome to Tatooine. Oh my God, they're going to fall. Welcome to Tatooine by Country Magic Stitch. Um, I originally started this in March 2020. It has been restarted twice. Um, this is my most recent restart. I am not restarting it again. It is going to get finished. It's been a learning curve. Um, so this is where I'm up to. This is stitched on a 22 count white two over one tent using CXC threads. Um, at my end of year whip parade, it was sitting at 5,962 stitches and 26.46% complete. It's now sitting at 7,150 and 31.74% complete. Now, my only pet peeve is I attempted a basket weave tent stitch and it's left this uh, texture that I'm not really a fan of, um, but I just want to get it finished so I can move on to the next one. Um, that needle minder is from Inchworm Designs. 
should probably state where my needle winders are from. Um, all right, next up. Oh, that was my only 2020 whip. Now we're in 2021. How exciting. Um, they're all going to fall. Um, next up is in this Quidditch fabric bag. Um, also made by me. I don't know why I just threw that over there without the project in it. That's real helpful. Um, this is the Stitch Stained Glass by Aurora CS. Um, I used this for a strand a day at one point and then I gave up and I pulled out <laughs> something else. And this is where I'm up to. Um, so at my end, uh, I started this on the 25th of May 2021. It's stitched on an 18 count white 2 over 1 full cross. Uh, at my end of year whip parade, it was at 2,323 stitches and 6.36% complete. Um, and now it's 3,916 stitches and 10.73% complete. So I'm trying to get all the um, 310 done and then I'll color it in like a coloring book. I'm almost to the end. The end is down here. Um, and then I'll go in and fill. I'm actually, I've actually been working in here. Um, that needle minder is also from Inchworm Designs. Um, all right, next up is in this starry fabric bag. Um, this is Victorian Charm by Dimensions. Sorry for the glare. This is what this looks like. Um, I am using the kit fabric and kit floss for this. I have managed to get this into Pattern Keeper using a very, very high quality scan. Um, so the kit fabric is an 18 count navy and I'm using the kit floss, very see-through. I started this on the 23rd of August, 2021. Um, at my end of year whip parade, it was at 1,870 stitches and 5.79% complete. And I have not worked on it this year. That needle minder is from Ginger Stitch AU. It's one of a pair. Um, and yeah, I have, I have not worked on this at all this year. I just, I'm not sure I'm a fan of kits. Um, I much prefer... Um, just working from a digital chart and charting it up myself, um, kitting it up myself and working on, um, working on it like that. So we'll, we'll see. It'll get finished eventually. It's not a, not a priority. <laughs> uh, next up, this project is actually in a Q-snap because it is my stranded day project. It is in, the, in this. Uh, potions bag um, it has a lot of colors I think there's like 113 different colors in this this is my confetti hell piece um, it is a photo of my sister's cat Max um, not gonna pull the whole thing out because like I said it's in a Q-snap it's my stranded day piece at the moment um, I started this on the 1st of December 2021 it's stitched on an 18 count 2 over 1 full cross this is where I'm up to. Um, so it was at 6,598 stitches and 22.44% complete at my end of year whip parade. Uh, and it's now sitting at 8,670 stitches and 29.49% complete. And I have hit the other side over here. So I love it. It's like, if I can get close enough, it's like confetti crazy, but then like, it's amazing. He's such a cute cat. Um, the This Max is my sister who's currently getting x-rays. That's her cat. So if it is broken, he's going to love that she's at home all the time. Um, so he's a, he's a bit of a snuggler. Um, all right. Next up is in this uh, Betty Bots Hogwarts flying key bag, purple interior, uh, and this is a Gryffindor common room, 
Um, this is part of four patterns. I've only started this one. Um, I started this stitching. I started stitching this because of Sammy Liz. Um, this was started on the 11th of December, 2021. It stitched on an 18 count white two over one full cross. You're going to hear 18 count white two over one full cross a lot during this. Oh my God. No, don't fall. Don't fall. Stop. Uh, <laughs> this is where I'm up to. Um, this at my end of year whip parade was 8,641 stitches and 33.26% complete. Um, it's now sitting at 8. 1,763 stitches and 33.73% complete. So it hasn't gotten much, but I believe this is on my WhipGo board as well for this year. So it is a mix of half cross, full cross, and it has a ton of blends. Um, and I have got that kitted up. Um, and then my blends, I've made their own their own little thread drops so that way if I've got leftover once I've put in what I can um, I'll put the remainder on there and use it for a different section all right next up is in this candy cane bag um, this is reindeer names by spooky and Steve what is happening did I lose a needle no it should be good uh, I started this on the 15th of December 2021. It is stitched on an 18 count white two over one full cross. Um, at my end of year whip parade, it was at uh, 1,473 stitches, 34.92% complete, and I have not worked on it this year. So, essentially a whole lot of 310, a little bit of green. Um, this needle minder is from someone on Facebook and it says easy peasy lemon squeezy, <laughs> which I love. Um, okay, that one gets pulled out mostly like Christmas stitching in December. I'm not overly fond of it, but you know, what can you do? Uh, next up is this in this bag here my little glitter gnomes um and this was actually a this has has been a restart so what i've actually got in here is my original start and my restart so this is mini santa nutcracker by artisy um i originally started this on the 19th of december 2021 it was originally stitched on an 18 count two over one full cross however wasn't a fan and I restarted it on a 25 count two over one tent. I restarted it on the 7th of March this year. Um, and this is where this is up to. It's getting a bit blown out. Uh, so this is currently 1,588 stitches and it's 9.80% complete. Um, I much prefer doing the full coverage on um, 25 count using tent stitch now which is um uh really nice for me because now it's going to speed up my full coverage um this needle minder i'm 90 percent sure is from ginger stitch au most of my minders are all right that is the end of page one next up we're up to whip number nine is in my marvel comics project bag um, this is Spider-Man. It's a chart that I got off Etsy. This one also has a multitude of colors. So I went through and made frost, floss drops for all of my projects. So they've, they've got everything in there. Uh, this was started on the 21st of December, 2021. It's stitched on an 18 count white two over one full cross. This is where I'm up to. Um, so this is the same as it was at my end of year whip parade, 7,416 stitches and 12.36% complete. This had no change. This is going to be worked on though. Um, it's on my whip go board for, um, uh, hasn't been called yet. And I'm actually going to be using it for a prompt for frog warts and it was a prompt that I was having um, issues trying to fill and then and that prompt was for a mask. Spider-Man, where's mask? So I'm gonna use this. 
Uh, that needle minder is from Itchy Stitchy, um, which is also part of a series of four minders. And this is stuck. Okay. Whip number 10, and we are officially into 2022. This was my um, new year, new start for the 1st of January, 2022. It is in my Halloween bag. Um, this one has an orange interior. Um, so this is on an 18 count that I hand dyed myself. Excuse the fluoro orange gridding and the extra pieces of fabric I've had to sew on because my margins were insane. Um, and this is where I'm up to. <gasps> That's where this needle minder is. I've been looking for this needle minder. Um, so this has had no work on it at all this year so far. It is on my whip go as well. Um, so this is an 18 count that I hand dyed myself. It is getting blown out. It's more of like a greeny green. It's showing up more gray. Um, and this is 4,164 stitches and 18.91% complete. This is the reason I can't stitch trees properly. <laughs> um, who knew you need to know how to count to stitch trees accurately. Um, all right, that was whip number 10. Whip number 11 is Diagon Alley by Country Magic Stitch. Oh my God, I have thread floss everywhere. <laughs> this is in a Hogwarts um, Dumbledore's Army project bag. Um, it's got the, the internal fabrics, the Dumbledore's Army um, signatures. Um, this is what it looks like. Um, so I started this on the 17th of February 2022. It's stitched on a 22 count one over one full cross using CXC threads. Um, at my end of year whip parade, it was at 3,332 stitches, 14.79% complete. Um, and now it's at 3,874 stitches and 17.26% complete. Um, I have discovered that whilst I love the delicacy of a one over one full cross on 22 count, it takes forever. So I much prefer using two strands, tent stitching that. It's just easier. Um, all right, whip number 12. If you watch my floss tubes, you will have seen recently. Um, this is in this Northern Lights project bag. Um, and this is Dragon Phoenix uh, by Maria Brovko, Cute Patterns by Maria. I have a hanging parked thread, which is like so long. Um, I started this on the 27th of February, 2022. This is where I'm up to. Uh, so this is stitched on an 18 count white, two over one full cross. Um, at my end of year whip parade, this was at 5,731 stitches uh, and 38.99% complete. Um, and it's now at 10,372 stitches and 70.56% complete. Uh, Phoenix Needle Minder is from Ginger Stitch AU. I don't even think, oh, did, they, did my other one even have a needle minder on it? Who knows? Um, all right, whip number 13 is in this mermaid bag. Now, whilst this is super pretty, it was hell to make. It was hell to iron this fabric. It was just not a fun time. If I showed you closely, you'd be able to see how janky it looks. Um, this is Under the Sea Stitch Along by Frosted Pumpkin Stitchery. This was stitch along from last year. Uh, it's finished. I have not. Uh, I started this on the 25th of March, 2022. It's on an 18 count that I dyed myself. This never shows up accurately. It's like a mottled blue. Anyway, this is where it's up to. So it's almost finished. <laughs> Um, so this is currently sitting at 7,838 stitches and 79.38% complete. So I really only have this section and just the border left. So it really shouldn't take me long, um, long to finish. And it is on my focus on a finish wheel that I'm currently working from. Um, all right, next up is in 
this Harry Potter project bag. I used a different interfacing when I made this and it's like really light and floppy and I'm not a fan, but it's a project bag, so I can't complain. Um, okay, I started this one. Sorry, I'm just moving a needle winder. I started this one on the 24th of April, 2022. I started this during the Black and Needle Society's novel and novels and needles retreat last year. Um, it was 3 a.m. My smart brain decided to work on a black opal at 3 a.m. I got very little done and it was all wrong. I had to frog it anyway. Um, so this is stitched on an 18 count back in black by Color Cascade. And this is where I'm up to. So at my end of year whip parade, this was sitting at 1,190 stitches and 34.7% complete. It's now sitting at 2,941 stitches and 85.77% complete. So I have very, very little to go on this. Um, oh, did you know, sorry. I have the word personal, the rest of this rocket, another planet. Um, so there's really, really not much left. Um, on this one, my Sailor Moon wand needle minder is from Itchy Stitchy. Okay. Um, whip number 15. Okay. These are like literally my thighs holding up this whole pile. It's in a Darth Vader project bag. Um, and this is Ahsoka from Owl's Head Design. If you know, you know. If you don't, Ahsoka was uh, Anakin Skywalker's apprentice. Um, and she's one of my favorite characters. Um, so this was started on the 1st of May, 2022. It's stitched on an 18 count white two over one full cross. <laughs> Um, and this is where I'm up to. So I was at 4,362 stitches, 33.88% complete. Um, and it's now sitting at, uh, 5,389 stitches and 41.86% complete. Um, and I love, love, love the gradation in the blues in the background. This is so much fun to work on. Um, I, I did work on it not that long ago and it looked like I was doing nothing, but I was stitching white on white and filling in white on white, which is about as fun as stitching black on black, um, which I was doing this morning. So, uh, all right. Last one on this page is project number 16. It is in this uh, great Harry Potter items project bag um, and this is a Ravenclaw crest by DM X stitch um, you may have recently seen the amazing finish by the lovely Miss Chloe um, I'm going to warn you there are park threads on this so if you don't like park threads I apologize but it is the only way I'm currently dealing with this project uh, I started this on the 7th of May 2022 it is stitched on an 18 count white two over one full cross um, I haven't worked on it at all this year, but I did get a page finish at the end of last year. And this is where it's up to. So this is uh, 2,285 stitches and 15.87% complete. It's going to be amazing when it's finished, but it just, it's a lot of concentration on this piece. Um, needle minder, turn to page 394 is from Itchy Stitchy. All right. Let us turn the page. We're still in May 2022. Um, I had a few. I did it. Mania starts like weekly. So there are a few. That This one is in a blue cross project bag. It, it does have a uh, Birdie Bot's interior. Um, this is Siren of the Sea by Autumn Lane Stitchery. I started this on the 14th of May, 2022. It is on an opalescent fabric that I absolutely hate. Um, <laughs> it's 18 count blue ocean floor by color cascade. Love the color, hate the opal. Um, this is where I'm up to. So at my end of year whip parade, this was at 2,538 stitches. It's now sitting at 5,218 stitches and 38.89% complete. So I love that it's got like this dark blue modeling at the bottom where the end of the tentacles and her tail is going to be. But this opalescent 
much like the huge fan of space because it's the same company is really really rough i'm not a fan of really soft well come on light focus um i don't like super soft ada um i like a midway between a, a stiff and a soft like a just right like goldilocks ada um this for some reason the opal just gives me so much grief um I am mostly using the cold for threads. Um, I changed up the thread in her hair. It was the thread that it called for was the exact same color as my fabric. I um, mean, and then in her tail, it use asks it calls for the same modeled like greeny blue variegated, and I've gone for a variegated pinky purple. And then her tail will be the same greeny teal blue variegated. Um, this needle minder and this little needle minder are from my ONS and then this one here is from Adam Hart cross stitch um, These are the two variegated I'm using So this is one uh, And this is 4030 DMC and then this is the other one 4215 So I'm having a lot of fun with that one. It is a joy a joy to work on all right next up is in this black needle society special investigation file project bag this is the um, novels and needles and murder mystery uh, project from last year I did not do it because my box had not arrived by the time the retreat started um, so this is must be possible artwork is by Kristen De Palma um, and the chart is from Katie Landis of the Black Needle Society. So the impossible could not have happened. Therefore, the impossible must be possible in spite of appearances. Agatha Christie. So um, this is stitched on a 16 count Jody fabric that came in the box. It is extremely frayed. I really need to I really need to surge it. Uh, I started this on the 21st of May 2022. This also has some hanging threads. I do apologize. Um, but I am working on it. Um, so this is where I'm up to. Um, so it was at 2,285 stitches, 19.27% complete. And I have not worked on it this year. But this is on my whip go as well. Um, now the next Novels and Needles event is page to screen if you have not seen my unboxing go watch it watch me lose my mind it's a real fun time um the next event for me as of filming is tomorrow morning at 3 a.m um when you're actually seeing this video it would have been a couple of weeks ago um i'm sure it would it was amazing um we'll see we'll see what happens these projects are gonna fall uh, all right, next up, Project 19 is in this Mandalorian helmet bag. Um, and this is Rex from Owl's Head Design. This also has a lot of park threads. Uh, I started this on the 28th of May, 2022. It's stitched on an 18 count, two over one full cross. And this is where I'm up to. Um, so this was at 3,870 stitches and 30.07% complete um, and it's currently at uh, 5,104 stitches and 39.65% complete. Um, this behind here has all been filled in. Again, it's white on white, so it doesn't really look like it has been. <clears throat> this is a lot of fun though. Um, all right, uh, project number 20 is another stitch along that is finished. I haven't, <laughs> I'm close though. Um, so this is the project bag that it's in. I made this Halloween time last year. Um, and this is the Supernatural Stitch Along by The Witchy Stitcher. I started this on the 2nd of June, 2022. Um, oh, my nose. It's on an 18 count Menacing Storm from Crafty Lini. It was one of my first fabric of the month fabrics. Um, this is a two over one full cross, mainly with the cold four DMC. However, I am subbing in petite treasure braid in every single one of the creatures. And this is where I'm up to. So I have five and a half, 
um, five and a half creatures to go and one of them is recharted, one that I recharted myself. So each one has some form of petite treasure braid in, in it. Um, my little vampire lady is, her hair is white because I, um, I designed her after Manon from the Throne of Glass series. Um, she's an Iron Teeth Witch. Um, Needleminders are both from Ginger Stitch AU. The way some of these are getting folded, it's fine, I'm gonna have to put them all away anyway. All right. Hopefully they should not fall. I say this. Um, next up is in this project bag, which was the project bag in the Summer in Stars Hollow box from the Black Needle Society. Um, and this is Summer in Stars Hollow by the Black Needle Society. Um, I have finished autumn and I have finished spring. Summer is ongoing. Um, this is what it looks like. Pattern is designed by Katie Landis. Um, and this is where I'm up to. I started this on the 23rd of June, 2022. It's stitched on an 18 count white, two over one full cross. Um, at my end of year whip parade, it was at 4,671 stitches and 51.76% complete. Um, and it's now sitting at 5,720 stitches and 63.38% complete. I would like to finish this before the winter event in March next year. Is it gonna happen? Who knows? It is on my focus for a finish wheel, so it could happen, which is exciting. All right, whip number 22. Um, I feel like Ross is gonna really appreciate that I have some of the cover pages and patterns for these so he doesn't have to insert a whole bunch. Um, this is the Fox by Cottage Garden Samplings. Uh, I started this on the 1st of July, 2022. It's on an 18 count that I hand dyed myself. Um, at my end of year whip parade, it was at 936 stitches and 13.95% complete. Uh, and it's now 1,021 stitches and 15.22% complete. So this little part here is actually the start of the fox. Um, I have gridded this using a copper sulky silver um this sometimes just doesn't call to me to work on i don't know why i absolutely love it sometimes i'm just not feeling it um this needle minder is from ginger stitch au all right um project number 23 now this one is about to get a lot of work on it why do I have the pattern for my next whip in here? Um, this one's about to get a lot of work on it because it is frog warts retreat season. T minus, I don't know, like 20 days, <laughs> probably less than that. Um, but we get the year four pattern in a couple of weeks. So I cannot wait. This is frog warts year one by the black needle society. Um, this is from Katie Landis. Um, I have got all of my specialty threads on my Gryffindor thread card. It is wood um, and it's from Haven Stitchery. It does have a like plastic insert that you can pop your thread list on so it corresponds to a specific number. Um, this is on an 18 count that I hand dyed myself. There are a couple of dangling threads. And this is where I'm up to. So, um, this has had no work on it. Oh, yes, it has. So this was at 3,300 stitches, 32.28% complete. It's now sitting at 3,949 stitches, 38.63% complete. So this must have been called on Whipgo. That's for it on me. Um, so this is where I'm up to. My Why is my needle just hanging? Um... My snitch is all sparkly. So it's going to be interesting. This is going to get a little bit of work during frog warts. It fits a few prompts that I was missing stuff on. 
um, needle minder is from itchy stitchy what you can't see with this fabric like it's showing up very yellow and neutral um, and I can never never get this to show but it's got like pink and purple through it as well like it just anyway I love this fabric my fabric is already actually I think it might be in my next project bag um, it's already gridded and ready to go for year four um, so next up project number whip number 24 is that fabric is in here for year four um, is Frogwarts year two this is what it looks like um, this is also from Katie Landis of the Black Needle Society. This has had the most dismal start on it. Um, I started this on the 3rd of July 2022. It's on a 18 count that I died as well. It's had no work this year. This is, <laughs> this is where I'm up to. However, this does fit a lot of the prompts for year four as well, um, that I was struggling with. So this will get some work during Frogwarts as well. Hogwarts Letter Needle Minder is from inchworm design can't wait to pull these back out i need to get these loaded up into q snaps for four warts um this is my fabric for year four it's more see this shows up the pink more can't wait uh i've already gridded it ready to go on the third of july um all right end of the next page we're officially up to whip 25. Oh my gosh, no. Whip 25 is holding everything else up. It's in this Honey Dukes project bag. It's got a teal lining. Um, I shared this for a stash dive during Frogwards last year and Athena liked it so much. Uh, I made her one. Uh, so this is a Reaping Love by Silver Creek Samplers. I started this on the 17th of July, 2022. It is stitched on a 16 count cache by Forbidden Fiber Co. Um, it was at 2,054 stitches and 44.86% complete. It is now at 3,041 stitches and 66.41% complete. I love this. This is also a focus on a finish for this year. That fabric is fairly accurate. My phone is going off, off its head. This little cat donut is from Ginger Stitch AU. All right, uh, whip number, number 26. I'm just trying not to trigger the, the second, oh, the second pile I have here, which is gonna fall. This is in a pink X project bag with a purple interior. This is Small World by Stitcherella. This is a free chart on her Facebook page. I started this on the 17th of July, 2022. Um, it is stitched on an 18 count white. Two over one full cross where it calls for and two over one tent where it calls for. And this has had a monster amount of work. I'm gonna fold it in half because you don't need to see the whole thing. Um, so this was at 2,815 stitches. 8.46% complete at my end of year whip parade and it's currently at uh, 6,018 stitches and 18.08% complete. So I've made it to the very bottom which is exciting um, and I'm just filling in this next bottom section before I move back up to the top. Um, this may come out at Frogwarts. I'm not 100% sure I started it for Frogwarts last year. Actually, no, I think it will because it fits a prompt. Uh, Needle Minder is from Itchy Stitchy as well. <clears throat> um, all right, next up. <gasps> oh my God. I need to get my next few projects because this is about to slide out of control. <laughs> The perils of filming a whip parade with 150 million projects. Okay. Stay. Next up. <laughs> Project number 27, which is another whip 
another whip parade, another sowl that I haven't finished. It's in this witchy bag. This has a purple interior. Um, this is the Haunted Library Stitch Along by Lola Crow Cross Stitch. This was... What, what is happening here? This was stitched... Uh, oh my god. This was started on the 5th of August 2022. It's stitched on a 18 count vintage country mocha. And this is what I'm up to. Um, so this was at 10,355 stitches. 61.29% complete. Um, and it's currently sitting at 12,920 stitches and 76.47% complete. Um, this is also my focus on a finish. Both of those needle minders are from Ginger Stitch AU. Uh, <laughs> all right. Uh, whip number 28, which started from Frogwarts. Um, this is in a mini mouse project bag it has a pink interior because i like things to be matchy um this is a wama wink i cannot for the life of me remember who this is from um this is stitched on a 16 count fiesta by crafty lini it is another fabric of the month fabric um i have not worked on it this year this is what it looks like um, so this is 794 stitches 23.3 percent complete now this fabric is like insane I love it. Now, Wama Wink, um, if you haven't seen Centaur World, go watch it. Um, it's, it's the weirdest thing I've ever seen. Uh, I think you need to experience it for yourself. It's a whole lot of weird. Everything is a is a centaur. So Wama Wink is a llama tour. Um, there's a zebra tour. There's cat tours. Uh, it's a whole thing. Uh, no problem. <laughs> Needle Minder is from Inchworm Designs. I should know. I only order, I like my needle minders come from three places. Ginger Stitch, Itchy Stitchy, Inchworm, or the Black Needle Society. Um, oh, this one should have been with my July charts. And this is in this Harry Potter project bag with Deathly Hallows fabric. This was made for me by my lovely friend Tracy. Um, we love Tracy. She's a, she's a hoot. Um, this is Happy Halloween by Autumn Lane Stitchery. It is a free chart in a magazine. I cannot for the life of me remember which one. Um, I think it's available on their Etsy store anyway. I started this on the 16th of July, 2022. It fit a prompt for Frogwarts. Uh, it's stitched on an 18 count white and this is where we're up to. Uh, so this was at 601 stitches. It's currently at 1,197 stitches, 16.44% complete. I love this needle minder. This needle minder is from Ginger Stitch AU. I want this tattooed on me. It'll get done at some point, but I love it. I'm obsessed with it. All right. Whip number 30. 30. We're 43 minutes in and we're at whip number 30. Um, um, this is in this project bag that I made during Halloween. It's got a crazy interior. Uh, and this is Ghost Stories by The Witchy Stitcher. Uh, I started this on the 11th of October 2022. It is stitched on a 16 count Stars Hollow Blend by R&R &R. um, and this is where I'm up to. I have not worked on on this this year. Uh, it's currently sitting at 945 stitches, 35.42% complete um, and this is also on a focus for a finish. Needle minder, I have no idea where it's from. Maybe Facebook. Who knows? Um, all right. Whip number 31 is in this new uh, sleeve that we got in the page to screen box. It's a Love You More Studio sleeve. It is Willy Wonka and I thought it was appropriate to transfer this pattern into this, um, into this Charlie and the Chocolate Factory um, sleeve. 
Uh, so this is Lolly Jar by Spruce Craft Co. I started this on the 17th of October 2022. Um, it's on an 18 count mystery opal from Mystic Fabrics. Um, I got this from Mel Rouvray. Um, and this is what it looks like. Uh, so this was at 853 stitches, 39.99% complete. Uh, it's now sitting at 923 stitches at 43.27% complete and it is a focus for a finish. This needle minder is from my ONS. She chucks in a free needle minder without orders. So these are some, I've been holding that the wrong way. <laughs> these are some Australian candies. Um, there's really not much left to go on this. I really should just get a move on and work on it, but um, it'll get spun up for me to work on. I love little projects that fit in these sleeves. Love them. Um, all right, next up is in this ghost, Paisley Ghost bag. I love this bag. This bag is like one of my favorites. Amazing, cute little ghosts. And then the interior is like this floral bat spider fabric. Love it. Um, this is Six Cute Ghosts by Maria Brovko. Cute patterns by Maria. I started this. I'm going to keep it folded and caught up because there's no point. Um, I started this on the 19th of October, 2022. Uh, it's on an 18 count black two over one full cross. And this is where I'm up to. I've not worked on this this year. Um, it is on my whip go though. Uh, this is 441 stitches and 3.53% complete. So I'm going to just do ghost by ghost. All six are going to be on the one, the one piece of fabric. There's a lot of white. Um, that needle minder I'm pretty sure is from Itchy Stitchy. Um, all right. Next up is a Patreon chart from the Witchy Stitcher. It's in this Halloween bag. Um, and this is on the next page. So what am I trying to read that's not on this page? Uh, this is the Haunted Carousel by the Witchy Stitcher. This was a Patreon chart. I can't remember from what month. Uh, I started this on the 24th of October, 2022. It's on an 18 count that I hand dyed myself. Um, this is where I'm up to. So this was sitting at 1,144 stitches at 14.46% complete. Um, and it's currently sitting at 2,266 stitches and 28.64% complete. I don't know if this is on my focus on a finish. I can't remember. Uh, needle minder is from Ginger Stitch AU. She's very shiny. And I have a needle just hanging off the edge of my piece, which seems really safe. Um, I love this though. I love this little vintage, vintage haunted carousel. I, and I'm like this, this is how extra I am. My planchette floss drops from Ginger Stitch. So these are the great green gold. I also have like the purple. <laughs> But I've matched my floss drops to my needle minder for that one because, you know, extra. All right. Next up, we're still in 2022. I started this in October as well. I can't remember the exact date. This is in a green X bag with green interior. Um, and this is Dark Queen of the Earth by Autumn Lane Stitchery. I'm up to date, so there's no point in inserting a picture. This is stitched on a 16 count fantasy by Fibalicious. Not gonna get into my fabric drama. Um, when I showed you at my end of year whip parade, I had three parts completed. I am now fully caught up. So part 10, done and dusted. I'm obsessed with this. I love this, it's amazing. She's She's fabulous. I recharted the face. But I'm loving. Loving this. So we have part 11 and part 12 left. Which I'm hoping we fill in whatever is down there. I know there's another branch. Which side? I know there's another branch down here that will connect. And then I'm pretty sure it's beading and backstitching, which is going to be interesting because I have not beaded before. 
gonna be a real real experience um both of these moth midnight moth and the lunar moth are from ginger stitch au we love a ginger stitch needle minder i just got a whole bunch more because zane's having a birthday sale that fell not where it's meant to be um all right whip number 35 is a restart and i wrote down the wrong date smart um i originally started this in march march 2020 um i was stitching it on an 18 count oh no 22 count two over one full cross and it was too thick so i restarted it as a birthday start on the 24th of november last year it is in this amazing villains project bag i love this i'm obsessed with this it is still in the q snap i am not pulling it out because it is um, 175,000 stitches. So this 25 count even weave is huge. I'm stitching this two over one, 10 stitch, uh, easy grid. It was at 8,316 stitches, 4.75% complete. Um, and it's now sitting at 11,275 stitches and 6.44% complete. Excuse my little park threads. I'm working them in. Needle Minder is from Ginger Stitch AU. Um, like, essentially the top is like under here, but you get the gist. Dr. Facilier's hat is, I'm working on the band. Hades hand. Two over one tenth stitch on even weave. 25 count even weave is, I love it for full coverage. Um, like, it's a little bit sparse in some places with dark colors. Um, but once I wash it and everything, it'll tighten up. Um, I was having issues with the bulkiness. I'm not going to show you the back, um, in these little sections to the point where it actually feels bumpy on the front. Um, cause like the feather is a lot of confetti. So now that I have figured out how to pin stitch, it's, it's doing all right. <laughs> um, all right, now we go into December 2022 and a whole bunch of Christmas starts. Um, this is in a Minnie Mouse bag, because why not? Uh, this was the advent for the Nice List box last year from the Black Needle Society. It's called Santa's Stamp Collection. I'm stitching this on an 18 count Emerald City by Crafty Leany. I started this on the 2nd of December 2022. This is where I'm up to. It's had no no change since you saw it at my end of year whip parade. Um, this is 8,938 stitches and 57.14% complete. I'm currently working in the top banner up here. I'll finish the top banner and then I'll go in and finish the rest of the stamps. So there's really not that much left to go. This is also on a focus for a finish as well. Um, I did sub out so the cold four was 606, which I've used in, in his nose, but I've gone with triple six for the red instead. Um, this needle minder is from someone in the UK. I cannot remember the shop. <laughs> um, all right. Next up is in this rainbow paint splatter bag, which I absolutely love. It has a green green lining there is no floss in this because my floss is actually in a bobbin box i'm using cxc thread um this is i'm very confused this is not what we're doing next no this is what happens when i try to put things in order and i've got like multiple projects in one bag like <laughs> this bag which is a harry potter spells bag holds like six christmas projects it's fine it is what it is um first up is the kakapo and takahi by lindy stitches it's one of the december down under smalls um i started this on the 9th of december 2022 uh and this is on a 16 count that i hand dyed myself i started this on the 9th of december i must i have already said that um, I haven't worked on this this year. It's at 306 stitches, 24.44% complete. And this is also a focus on a finished piece. 
So this is where this one's at. Uh, the next one I started is the Cassowary, also in the December Down Under series by Lindy Stitches. I started this one on the 15th of December 2022. It's on the same 16 count that I hand dyed. Um, it's at 152 stitches, 9.07% complete, and I have not worked on this. Uh, all right. Next up is the Nordic Nutcracker, which is affectionately known as the Pickle Cracker. Um, this is from Tiny Modernist. This is what it looks like. Um, this is stitched on a, I don't know why I wrote 16 count pewter, because it's not a 16 count pewter. It's a 16, either a 16 or an 18 count opal left, le oh, oh my god, opal sprayed by Sew It All Australia. Um, I haven't worked on this. This is 886 stitches, 35.48% complete. All right. Um... Next up is the most dismal stuff on a project I've ever had. Um, and this is Pear Noel from Hands On Design. This was part of the Jingle Ball pattern book last year. Um, I started this on the 19th of December 2022. It's stitched on a 16 count black. Um, I've done seven stitches. I haven't worked on it. Um, this needle minder is from somewhere. Um, I haven't worked on it this year. I really wasn't feeling the black, um, so decided to then instead pull out the project that's in this bag, which is my Christmas stitch, and this is from Etsy. I started this on the 19th of December 2022. It's stitched on a 22 count 1 over 1 full cross with CXC, um, and this is 591 stitches, and it's had no change. I have not worked on it this year, but it's essentially Stitch wearing a little reindeer reindeer hat. It's really cute. Um, all right, the last project that's in this bag <laughs> is the Kiwi by Lindy Stitches. This is also part of the December Down Under series. I started this on the 21st of December 2022. It's on the same 16 count that I hand dyed for everything else. Um, it's at 658 stitches, 35.30% complete, and I have not worked on it this year. All right. And the very, very last project for 2022, project number, whip number 43, is in this ama amazing Lynn X Stitches bag that we got in the Halloween trick box. This is the interior. Um, now I'm using the thread jewelry from the box to hold my million different colors. Um, so I have these rainbow thread drops from Ginger Stitch. I have um, the green it is twisted on there. The green planchettes with a couple of the Halloween bat ones. And then I have the purple planchette floss drops. Do you think I like the planchette floss drops? They're my favorite. Um, and this is the Stephen King house by the Witchy Stitcher. This is what this looks like. And this was my New Year's Eve start. This was the 31st of December, 2022. Um, it's stitched on an 18 count volcano stitching fabric, which I love. This is for my best friend because she loves Stephen King. Uh, and this is 1,482 stitches, 9.62% complete. I really need to work on this. Um, this needle minder is from the box as well. All right, that brings us to the end of our 2020 two whips um before i jump into 2023 i'm quickly going to change the battery because it's about to die and we're already at an hour uh give me a second i'll be right back all right battery is changed i am back let's jump into 2023 whips the first one is in this amazing book sleeve this was a uh from the 
Brain Stars Hollow Box from the Black Needle Society. Um, it's got part of Rory's speech and then some books and a Luke Steiner mug. Um, this is Do What Makes You Happy by Emma Congdon. Um, this is in her Cross Stitch for the Soul book, I think. Um, this is stitched on a This is on Back in Black by Color Cascade. This is the other part of the uh, huge fan of space piece. Um, I don't know how much I've done <laughs> because it's not Pattern Keeper compatible. Um, it's a very small start. Needleminder is from Adam Hart. All right, slide that back in there. Uh, next up is my 2023 temperature stitch along. It's not doing great. It's in this project bag. It's in an 11 by 11 Q snap because the whole thing fits in here. Um, I have not, <laughs> I have not caught up on this. Um, I have done January, February, uh, March, April. I have not done. I've done part of May and then only part of June. Uh, this is on an 18 count black. I started this on the 4th of January, 2023. Um, it's not up today. I really need to catch up on that. Actually, maybe I'll leave this out and catch up on it today. Um, it's literally not hard to keep up on. I don't know why I'm not keeping up on it. Um, that is from Faber Cross Stitch on Etsy. Uh, next up is another stitch along. This one I am mostly caught up on. Um, it is the Wonders of the Hubble Telescope Stitch Along by Climbing Goat Design. It's in this amazing space bag I made specifically for this whip. <laughs> um, we have had five parts come out and I am almost finished part five. Um, this is on a 16 count Gothic by Picture This Plus. Um, I have done 10,112 stitches of 10,912. It's at 92.67% complete. This needle minder is from the Black Needle Society Flamingo box. This needle minder is new. It's from Ginger to JU. This one's from my own S. Um, so this one here is part five. I really don't have much left to go on it. It's about 800 stitches. Ish. Oh, it's exactly 800 <laughs> stitches. Never mind. Um, so I just need to get a move on and finish, finish that one. It shouldn't take too long. Um, I absolutely love this. Um, there is a Wonders of the James Webb Telescope Stitch Along, I believe, coming out next year. Best believe I will be on top of that because I already have fabric. <laughs> I don't know how big it is, but I already have fabric. Um, all right, whip number 47 is another Stitch Along. I'm not caught up with this one. But that is because I am waiting to increase my silk stash. This one is in this project bag that I made. I am using a bunch of unnamed silks for you silks that were in a bits bag. Um, however, I am also waiting to try and get some brighter colors through my silk of the month um, club with them. Uh, so this is the Steady Thread 2023 Stitch Along. I started this on the 27th of January, 2023. It's stitched on an 18 count volcano stitching fabric using Silks for You Silk. So the whole frame is done. All the little hexes are done. One, two, four are done. And then I've got the florals in like, I've got the leaves done in three, five, and six. So I'm going to use the green that I've got for the stems and the leaves. Um, and then I just want different colors for the florals. So I did this one here. It's a little bit dark. I've done a pink and then a brown, but I just wanted something brighter to match the frame. So I really need to download the parts so I don't miss out on them. Um, this needle minder is from Inchworm Designs. Um, and then as I um, increase my silk stash. Um, I'll be able to then 
go in and fill in the little hexes. Um, all right, next two projects, share a project bag. This is my amazing Jasmine custom bags bag. It's a mini bag. It has a rainbow Mickey zip again um, at the top as well. It is amazing. absolutely love it. It's snack fabric um, and it has a purple lining. I The reason these share one bag is because I'm taking these to the US with me. So in my front pocket, I have this little needle case. This is from the Spring and Stars Hollow. Um, Spring in Stars Hollow box. Um, it says Firelight Festival matches. I've got my needles in there ready to go. And then I also have a tiny, tiny pair of travel scissors for the plane. Um, I'm also going to put in a pair of um, nail clippers just in case they confiscate those. So I have my thread on Adam Hart thread chips ready to go. Um, and these are whips 48 and 49. So the first one is the Princesses, Princesses by Happy Sloth Studios. Um, this is on a unnamed Live and Die LA 18 count. Um, I started this on the 21st of February 2022. And this is where I'm up to. Uh, it is 426 stitches and 2.08% complete. Now, I'm not actively working on these simply because we will be in the States for two weeks. And these are the only two projects I'm going to be taking with me. Um, that needle winder is from Ginger Stitch. Um, yeah, so because we're going to be gone for two weeks, I'm just taking these two projects in the one project bag. They're pattern keeper compatible, so I'll slip my tablet in here. Um, and that way, because, you know, I'm doing Disney and Universal, um, I'll be able to work on these. Um, project number 49 was started also on the 21st of February. It's on a 18 count Wisteria by Live and Die LA. Um, and this is the villains. And this is where I'm up to. Um, this is 485 stitches, 2.49% complete. So they're two colors from the same uh, two shades of purpley pinky blue from the same dyer um, and like you can sort of see the light and the dark for the princesses and the villains this needle winder is from ginger stitch au i love this bag this is a mini so it fits an eight by eight q snap um so i'm also going to chuck one of those in there ready to go um project number 50 we are almost done guys <laughs> um is in this bag i love this fabric it's my, i love this fabric um this is the greenhouse stitch along by lola crow cross stitch this is her current stitch along um, i started this on the 15th of april 2023 it's on an 18 count volcano stitching fabric it's unnamed and we're up to date i love this i have a frame for this already it's packed up in a box but it'll fit this and the and the matching one will fit the haunted library um i did purchase them for the um cryptids and supernatural but they don't fit so these ones will fit perfectly the moth is from ginger stitch au the raven is uh from accoutrement designs i won it in the spring in stars hollow event from the Black Needle Society. Um, all right. Whip number 51 is in this crazy Halloween bag. Um, this is Sun, Moon, Stars from Emma Congdon. This was from a cross stitcher magazine. Um, I got it through Readly. Uh, this is stitched on an 18 count navy. I started it on the 21st of May, 2023. And this is where I'm up to. Not much. It's 613 stitches. Needle Minder is from Itchy Stitchy. Um, I started this as part of the Mental Health Awareness Cell on Instagram and Flosstube. So this will get some work done on it during Frogwarts. One of the prompts is to work on something from a magazine. 
that's the only, oh, that's one of the only charts I have from a magazine. Well, actually, my Halloween Autumn Lane chart will work too. Anyway, we are down to our last three whips. Whip 52 is in this amazing bag from Forbidden Fiber Co. This is May the 4th. Everything is stuck. Uh, May the 4th from Forbidden Fiber Co. This is a, what it looks like. I am using the Kit Fabric and Floss, which is both Forbidden Fiber Co. Fabric and Floss. It's stitched, what's it called? It's called Charcoal. It's an 18 count opalescent. Uh, I started this on the 5th of May 2023 for May the 4th and May the 5th. And this is what I've done. So I may actually have enough fabric left over to use for a small. Um, I will from the bottom. That's that's the bottom of the chart. Um, so yeah, this is where I'm up to. This is 1,276 stitches. It's 39.54% complete. Um, and this is also going to be a focus on finish. I love Forbidden Fiber Co. fabric. It is Goldilocks fabric. It's that perfectness between soft and a little bit stiff. Love it. Um, okay. Second last whip is Be Careful by Jen over at Wolf Down the Rabbit Hole. This is a quote from Azriel from A Court of Thorns and Roses. Um, it says, Be careful how you speak about my high lady. We all know the scene that comes from if you've read Akatar, um, or if you've read the series. Mm, great scene. I started this on the 31st of May 2023. Um, I am using an 18 count that I dyed myself, and I am using um, DMC 310 for the black, and then I will be using some silks for you for the siphons that will go down the side. So this is what I've done. Needleminder is from uh, Ginger Stitch AU. Um, this stitches up so quickly, I just haven't had a chance to continue working on it. All right, the, the last whip is my today start, and it is a yay, we sold our house start. It is in this amazing Halloween bag. Um, I'm using a mix of thread drops, floss drops from Ginger Stitch AU and Adam Hart. Um, these are the amazing colors on this project. Cannot wait. And it is the Nostalgic Ouija from the Witchy Stitcher. Um, it is a Patreon release chart. I'm stitching this on an 18 count black with the Cold Fort DMC. Literally started this morning. Um, and I have done 287 stitches and it's at 3.75% complete and I am obsessed. I love this. Uh, this needle winder is from Ginger Stitch AU. I just felt like it fit. So if you've seen, this is the Lisa Frank style uh, Ouija board that the Witches, Witchy Stitcher released. Um, the reason it's in a Q-Snap is because I'm going to be working on it today and tomorrow. And Monday, Tuesday. So I can't wait. This is going to get a decent amount of progress. Um, I'm going to put this one on this side. Uh, that is all of my whips. I thought I was at 60. I've had a few finishes, so now I'm sitting at 54, um, which isn't too bad. Um, obviously, there's a lot I haven't worked on this year. Um, they will get worked on. A lot of them are on my whip go, um, but I'm trying to get some stuff finished just to get my whip count down so I can then start a couple of other things that I want to start. So this was this was a long video over an hour. <laughs> Um, if you've made it this far, thank you so much for, for watching all of my, uh, all of my projects. If you've got any questions about them, um, leave a comment down below, um, shoot me a DM on Instagram, whatever you like. Um, yeah, I hope you've been enabled and I love whip parade season. It gets me introduced to new floss tubers. Uh, new charts that I definitely don't need given I am on a pattern buying ban. <laughs> um, so we'll see how it goes. Um, but if you've made it this far, thank you so, so much for watching. Do all the YouTube things like comment and subscribe and I'll see you next time. Bye.